Well, if you have spent much time outside lately, you have probably seen plenty of these. Yes, and they're not bees. We want to point that out. They're actually yellow jackets, and they are out in full force. So on this Wellness Wednesday, our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to explain why they're so active this time of year and what they're actually looking for. Yellow jackets are a type of social wasp. Now, while bees are strictly vegetarians, wasps thrive on protein. Now, in fact, they usually eat other insects, but if those are hard to find, they look for other things to eat. And this time of year, their favorite places to dine tend to be where humans like to gather too. Love going to the cider mill in the fall? Well, so do the yellow jackets. These are the bane, uh, the banes of cider mill's existences. Mark Vanderwerp is the manager of education and training at Rose Pest Solutions. He's also a board certified entomologist and says there is a biological reason yellow jackets are so active right now. If you find a nest in late May, early June, it might be the size of a golf ball or the size of a tennis ball. And so it's not, not really causing any problems. But as the season goes on, and the queen lays more and more eggs and the workers really build up and, and all of a sudden you get this massive colony. But in the fall, the nest essentially starts shutting down. And when that happens, everything kind of goes haywire. So all the workers that were building the nest, maintaining the nest, guarding the nest, they kind of don't have a job anymore. And that's where they really start bothering people. Yellow jackets are drawn to strong food odors and some are particularly attractive. Sugary sodas or, or juices or suckers or popsicles, especially if it's fruit-based, sugar-based, um, or protein-based, you know, like a chicken sandwich. That is super attractive to these things at this time of year. Certain spots carry a bigger risk. Outdoor trash cans, uh, if there's outdoor dining tables, you know, that aren't being wiped down regularly, there's going to be attractive food odors pretty much 24-7 in some of these locations. Yellow jackets can sting multiple times, and if one comes your way, try not to swat. Move slowly. Yeah, so, you know, wild motions, batting at them. This is all going to increase your risk of uh, being stung. Yellow jackets tend to be active until the first hard frost. Now, if a nest is out of the way, it's best to leave it be. However, Mark says it's a good idea to call in a professional for help if you have a ground nest in a high traffic area or a nest inside a wall because that can actually damage the structure.